we think dinosaurs, it's musty museums, old bones, and dusty textbooks. This is going to be a lot of fun. From death-defying stunts to George Robbins' special effects, Steve Bagshaw is bringing his big experiments to the big screen. I suggest we all stand back. Deadly Dinosaurs, in cinemas these school holidays. Hello everyone, welcome back to Braxton's Universe. We're just going to jump right in. If you don't know from the opening little gag I've done, or you don't know what that is, we're going to be talking about a hybrid dinosaur from the BBC series, Deadly Dinosaurs. This monstrous dinosaur you see before you is known as the Bakshalosaurus, and today we're going to be breaking down its genetic makeup, size, and even some of its abilities. Now first off, we're going to discuss the dinosaur that makes up this thing's base genome, which is quite obviously Spinosaurus. It's got its sail, somewhat of its skull shape, its size, which we'll get to later, its arms, and its teeth. Next, we have the unmistakable tail of the Ankylosaurus. As well, if you look very closely under its back, you can see the armor scute-like structure of Ankylosaurus. Next, we have the Therizinosaurus, which increases the size and strength of its arms, as well as the size of its claws. Next, it's mentioned in the video about it that this thing would have no problem taking on an adult Tyrannosaurus. And for those of you, myself included, who have watched Ultimate Dino Survivor, you'd know that the only thing that can take down a T-Rex is another T-Rex, which makes up part of this thing's genetic makeup from its distinct skull shape. As well, this thing probably has the bite strength of a T-Rex, because if you... T-Rex is one of the deadlier dinosaurs thanks to this bite strength, and because this thing has the deadliest dinosaur rating, it probably have some of that T-Rex bite force in it. Next we have the Cayman, which in includes in widening the skull, and in along with Spinosaurus, increases the strength of its electroreception. And finally, we've come to the Lyoprodon, which also contributes to the shape of its head which you can see, it is very similar to this thing's head. And that's this thing's genetic makeup. Spinosaurus, Therizinosaurus, Ankylosaurus, T-Rex, Cayman, and Lyoprotodon. Now that the genetic makeup is out of the way, let's talk about its size and its abilities, which include heightened electroreception, as well as, if not to pulverize like T-Rex can, crush bone. And for size, this thing is 26 feet tall, and 52 feet long, or 6 meters. And that has been our time with the Bakshalosaurus.